Hello, my name is Brother Sean, and I'm a member of the Teo community of Franciscans who embrace all faiths. Interesting, challenging, but it is what our hearts were guided to do by St. Francis back in 2008. This short video, <clears throat> excuse me, is about reawakening your heart to freedom. But first, let us just reflect. What does that really mean? Or are they just words, pious words, reawakening your heart to freedom? For many of us, like-minded souls, who have begun this spiritual journey, a journey that is a love affair, between our heart and the heart of a loving God. It invites us to be free, to be free in our heart, to be free in our relationships with others, where we are not disemboweled or disempowered by their agenda to control us. It is so important that we do not listen to those negative voices, whether they're from our partner, from our family, or even from our religious family. And the words from the wonderful, beautiful song by Shiana Nall, how can anyone ever tell you, you are not beautiful? During our vigil on Friday evening, last evening, we had a heart-to-heart -heart session from Brother Tom, who talked in great depth about the heart. And it concluded with a healing meditation from myself. But we listened to the wonderful song by Shannon Ong. And how, how can anyone ever tell us that we are not beautiful in the eyes of God if God does not tell us that? Then why do we allow our hearts to become embroiled in the dramas of others? Why do we place ourselves as a victim instead of being free? Could it be that there is fear? Fear to take back our power? Could it be that there's a sense of unworthiness? That we are made to feel unworthy? Let me read to you the beautiful message this morning from the Cosmic Christ. Relax in my healing, Holy Presence. Be still while I transform your heart and mind. Let go of cares and worries so that you can receive my peace. Cease striving and know that I am God. Do not be like Pharisees who multiplied regulations, creating their own form of godliness. They got so wrapped up in their own rules that they lost sight of me. Even today, man made rules about how to live the Christian life, enslave many people. Their focus is on their performance rather than on me. It is through knowing me intimately that you become like me. This requires spending time alone with me. And Jesus concludes, let go, relax, be still and know that I am God. 
know that I am God. They are beautiful words. And they're words that we need to hear, not in our head, but feel them in our heart. Because in this modern world, bureaucracy has gone mad. Red tape has gone through the roof. And within our religious families, bureaucracy has gone mad the minutiae to detail, where religious men and women who are in service to God, they want to break free and allow their heart to dance in the presence of God, but they're blocked. They're blocked because the rule stipulates that they have to look in a certain way that they have to behave in a certain way and even speak in a certain way. And I endorse that from my own journey as a young, inexperienced nursing mom, where I dedicated my, my life to God for eight years. But in the end, I found it so oppressive. The emphasis wasn't on allowing the heart feel the love of God. The emphasis was more on keeping up appearances and playing mind games. And it was the lack of Christian love that forced not only me, but many thousands of young men and women to relinquish their call from God, to step aside and try and find their true identity which was crushed on the altars of man's ego and rules and regulation. And one became lost in trying to please others at the expense of crushing the heart. So let us come back to this thought of reawakening our heart to freedom. How do we reawaken our heart to freedom? I can only share with you my understanding, but I invite you to go into your quiet time, to use your gift of free will, and invite the company of heaven to speak with you, to show you, to explain the mystery of love, and heart surrender to you. Throughout my life, I found it really difficult to surrender my heart to a God of fear because that was the God I knew. The God that was portrayed was not one of love. We were told he was a God of love. But many misinterpreted the meanings and the teachings of Jesus as we have discovered from the various scripture scholars who have left us an element of truth that man did interfere with the word of God and we know that so let us reawaken our heart in our silence let us come and experience personal intimacy with a loving God and you and I can do that now. Just be still and invite the Supreme, a loving Father, Mother, God, to come into your life right now. And then sit and reflect and to allow your mind, your body and spirit be caressed by the breath of God. Feel the gentleness of a loving Father, Mother, God caress you, empower you, take responsibility for your journey today. And if there is anyone in your life that does not tell you that you are a beautiful child of God, that you are loved, then it's time to take your power from those people 
and it may be your church and find your God of love and stay with what he's saying rather than what others are trying to tell you. Find your God of love for you. Follow him. And that way you have reawakened your heart to freedom. May God bless you. And may his love enshrine in you true freedom. Namaste.